We all know I love to recommend books and music and all sorts of other things. The last book I recommended was What to Know If You Have Epilepsy or What to Know If Epilepsy Has Touched Your Life, A Guide in Plain English. Today, I'm talking about books that are enjoyed. Now, I am almost through LJ Trafford's fantastic, slightly smutty, and very, very funny series on the Year of Four Emperors, starting with Palantine and ending up at Vitellus' feast, talking about the first four the first four emperors after Nero, and including the Flavians, who are at the moment marching in from Judea and taking over. And of course about young Domitian. The less I say about him, the better. Um, but now I am recommending for fun. Boop -a -doo 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 -doo. Oh. LJ Trafford's fantastic series on the year of four emperors. I will then be reading How to Survive in Ancient Rome by the same author, and it's basically positing, okay, I've somehow managed to find myself transplanted in ancient Rome. What do I do and how do I avoid, say, bad mushrooms or bad wine, etc., etc.? So one thing that I always suggest is find something you enjoy and if you enjoy it, talk about it. And see if anyone else likes it. And if they don't, hey, you've got something that you like. And that is fantastic. Always, always find something that you like. Okay, so next up, just a hi, hello, things are, I'm alive, things are doing good, and um, I'm just working on a few things. My father would have been 74 this week, so I'm kind of in a funk, but I'm out, kind of coming out. Um, <clears throat> I am currently working on comfort and getting out of here and planning for the future as I can, taking the courses that I need to get out, uh, mostly talking about how to handle other people, how to budget, how to do this, how to do that, so that I can, in turn, be a more well-rounded Beth, and um, so on and so forth. Um, but at the same time, this well-rounded Beth is also working on getting those things done for myself that I want to do, and um, every now and then taking the time because, for example, I actually, sometimes I realize that when I'm having a really rough day uh, or when I'm feeling extremely knocked out because it's been a couple of rough months and I haven't really given myself chances to rest, when my Fitbit says that I am of low readiness and that I probably should rest or just do light yoga and meditate and my readiness score is at one, I should rest. So that's come in handy. If you have Fitbit, uh, I definitely recommend checking with that. Um, and if you have rough times, you know, it's okay to be upset and it's okay to be mad and it's okay to rage against a machine, by which I mean the toaster, obviously. Um, but it's also okay to take the time to rest. And that is something that I'm learning um, as I go and also just be. So anyway, you are loved. I know I'm loved and I know that things get better. And actually these budgeting courses are quite fun. And I think it's because I have something to do and um, as well as my college stuff for the University of Maryland. And right now finishing up a course on the year of, well, actually the Republic, including the 
Gracchi, who were among the first heroes of the Republic and also ended up losing their lives. And it's very interesting. In fact, I will talk about that where, you know, the rich and powerful take over things that are meant to be for everyone else, you know, and leaving people like soldiers who fight poor and selling themselves into slavery to get themselves back where they're supposed to be. So look for a video on the Gracchi. I can't promise I'm going to be able to inject any humor into it, but it sounds fascinating and I do love the Gracchi, Tiberius and his brother Gaius, and I love the fact that they tried to rage against the machine, by which I mean the proto-toaster. And uh, so on and so forth. So I have some editing to do, including images. Don't, don't disappoint me now, editing software. And in the meantime, know that you're loved. And uh, if you feel like someone is taking things away from you, fight on. Love you.